Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Dream of Fantastic Dream podcast. Today is July 16th, 2022, and today we are playing, once again, another round of Ride or Reno, where we'll be going through all of the Hollywood Studios attractions and restaurants, talking if we love it, if we would like to see it changed or renovated or taken out completely. We are your hosts, Jared Covert and Skylar Gifford. Welcome to Guys Night. It's Guys Night. It's guy. It's guys' night after dark because it is currently 11 p.m. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. We are thriving, and uh, it's going to be great. I'm excited. We're we're vibing, and if you see the bags under my eyes, they are Gucci. Leave them alone. <laughs> it's been a day, man. I've I feel like we all went the through like personal trauma today. Um, and today was a day of release. It was like Sundays for uh, Jesus um, and, and going to church and praying, except praying is tears and sadness. So it's fine. Everyone's everyone's doing good. We're doing great. I got drunk yesterday at Disneyland. So that's always a plus. So I'm I feel fantastic. Only you actually had trauma today. And the only trauma that I had today was trying to cook with an eggplant. You know, that could have gone so many different directions. Um, The vegetable, Skylar. I mean, you could call it a vegetable. I'm sure it is in some cases, but... Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Um, It's been two seconds in, and uh, we're already uh, making uh, delightful jokes. So uh, this is going to be a fun one. We call it guys night because now Jared has has the full responsibility to control Skylar without Armida. Yes, sir. Anyways. Let's get into <laughs> no I'm kidding. You know what? That's uh, fine. You, have, you got any uh updates and news before we start? Um not really. Um I bought my I bought my cosplay for Oogie Boogie. Yeah, you want to say what it is right now? Nope, they why have to wait. <laughs> no, why? Why wait? It's it's already time. Um, we've waited long enough. Um, they haven't waited long enough. They have to wait until August. Jesus Christ! The first right. episode. So was- I know what the the uh cosplay is, and I will gladly tell you. No, I will tell them if you're gonna be a butt. No, that's fine. All right. Um, are you ready just to get into it, or do you have anything else? No, let's get into it. Um, for those of you who are new, if you haven't been listening to the past couple of episodes, we we're playing a game that we kind of came up with called Ride or Reno. We're just going to be going through everything, well, kind of everything, that's in Hollywood Studios. We've already done this with Epcot and Magic Kingdom. We go through the attractions and some of the uh, main restaurants and places to get food and we talk about if we want to keep them the way they are if we would like to renovate them whether that be changing a track cha- changing the theme or changing a menu or if we want to see them completely ripped out and gutted completely to make room for something completely new we did uh our last episode was magic kingdom if you guys didn't listen to it um and we did that with leah um, and that was really, really fun. Uh, she was a big Disney content creator. So if you haven't, go check it out before this one. Um, I think it was one of our really, really strong episodes that we've been able to create. So really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, this will be interesting. I think we have a lot of the same kind of ideas and like thoughts on the park as a whole. Um, Probably. So... This might not be too divided, actually. I hope not, but at the same time, it might be. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yes. Um, I'm starting off with Sunset Boulevard. The very first one is Tower of Terror. This is the best attraction at Disney World, in my opinion. Yes, yes it uh, is. The storyline, um, just the theming overall is really, really strong. RIP that big statue in the uh, as you're driving to disney world with the tower of terror that like moved around um that made me really sad that they took it out um and i think got taken out i know and i think honestly like out of both of 
the ones that I've been on, Guardians of the Galaxy and Tower of Terror, I think this one is a lot stronger. Oh, for sure. I haven't been on Guardians of the Galaxy, but I refused to go on it last time. Dude, I was you, in California. You're gonna you're gonna go on when it's not the normal ride. You're gonna go. Oh, on the that's Hall- right. Yeah, it's- you're going on the Halloween overlay. It's called Monsters After Dark. Perfect. And it is superior. It is the best version of that attraction. I'm also going to be going on all the other overlays for the first time ever, including Haunted Mansion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is kind of off trap. Um, but if you you want to hear something kind of crazy, you might be pissed off by this actually. But in the mm. collector's like warehouse, as you're going through that main room, there's a cage. Um, and like the upper kind of right hand or left hand side of that room and there's figment inside the uh one of the cages (laughs) that the collector has uh good yeah he caught him (laughs) good he needs to be caught yeah Um, stupid dragon next up is rock and roll oh my god (laughs) he is a dragon he's a dragon you were right the first time what's the what's the dragon with wings was the dragon with wings? Wait, what was the, what was the other thing I said? Um, oh, shoot. there's so many. There's so many. I've said some real. Oh, I was like, I was talking to Armita, and I was like, Oh, what's that movie about the aliens in the attic? And she's like, Aliens in the attic? And I'm like, Oh yeah, <laughs> that one. Just just the whole title. It's what was that movie movies. about being ten thousand leagues under the sea? <laughs> Same energy. I don't need this. Same energy. <laughs> What's that right about going to the journey of the center of the earth? I don't I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> I had another one, but I lost it. Oh no. What's that right about the jungle cruise? <laughs> Where's the rock at? <laughs> That's the only reason I go on that ride to see the rock. Uh, anyways, uh, the, ne- uh, the next one, one is about, rocking. Like a, it's like a, it's like a big mountain, um, made of rocks. Oh it's like god. a big thunder. I don't, I don't know. It's oh a- my god! What's that one about the haunted mansion? <laughs> like, there's During a log. Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> that like that like log ride. It's like a, it's like a mountain that you go on. And you, you, you go splash, splash on. It. <laughs> I hate this. We need to stop. We need to stop. Let's move on. Let's move on. I'm trying to move on, but you've interrupted me twice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the energy that we're going to be having through the entire episode. I am so sorry. If What's this is that your movie first about ep- snakes on a plane? <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> uh... What's that movie about cars? It was got to be a better better title than that, but you know, what's that second movie about cars? <laughs> There's a third too. We just don't. We choose not to remember it. We don't talk about that one. I just watched it the other day. And I forgot how trash it is. Okay, we've derailed. Getting back to it, <laughs> the the next one is Rock and Roller Coaster. I'd keep Reno. it. Well, actually, I'd run it. I want to run it specifically to that plan that I had to connect it to Tower of Terror. Uh, I was thinking about Powerline. That's right. You gave that idea. Yeah. Max Goof and Powerline. That'd be so fun. I Just like listen to idea. Eye to Eye um, the whole way it would be so great. I just think it needs a reno. Like, we love Aerosmith, but... There's definitely something they can do... I mean, no one, honestly, from, like, this generation normally listens. Like, there's no Aerosmith on the radio. What's the radio? Exactly. We have Spotify. That's, like, how we listen to music now. Spotify and Apple. Like, there's not much else. And YouTube. ACDC? You mean ADHD? <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> um, The next one is Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. Get that out of here. That thing is trash. Yep, please remove that. When we have a beauty called Radiator Springs Racers, we don't need whatever kind of bullshit that is, okay? It's a meet and greet. It's a meet and greet show. 
Oh my god. It's not even a ride. That's so bad. It gives me the same energy as like the Pixar live on stage. Yeah. Disney Jr. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's so bad. Like, why do we need this in this this park? Like, there's so much they could have done. I know. There's just also why is cars in Hollywood Studios? I get, I get Cars Land um, is in DCA, but that doesn't mean that Cars needs to be in Hollywood Studios too. I mean, my only like thing is, well, here here we go again. Um, oh no! Is if they had like LMR back and they had that like overlay to LMR, I could kind of see like that, or even having it in the backlot tour. But you know, that's also gone, so. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really make sense. You know what they need to change it into? The, this is a thought that I just... You know what they could do? They, they have the, uh, they have the uh, sci-fi dine-in. They could easily change that to, like, Ooh. Mater's Tall Tales or something. Oh, I like that Ooh. idea, actually. Or, like, the shorts or something. Oh. No, you don't we'll like get that? Into, we'll get into that later when we actually get to sci-fi dine-in. <laughs> um, the next one is Hollywood Brown Derby. Oh, keep keep don't touch it specifically for the the cob salad don't touch my cob salad yeah specifically for the cob salad um the next one i kind of combined um it's hollywood boulevard slash commissary lane slash grand avenue because they're all everything literally the front half dude i almost died at commissary lane i remember yeah that was terrifying yeah they gave you nuts yeah um first First up is Hollywood and Vine. This is a uh, character dining. I'm trying to think if I ever did that. Um, I haven't, but I can safely say I would keep this. I think the the menu looks good, and the characters are very cute. They're in like Hollywood outfits, and it's like Mickey and the Gang. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, I'd keep it. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I mean, if you think it's good, then sure. It's one of those things that you're probably not going to do unless you have a child. Mm, oh, okay. I remember going to the one that was like way back in the day with like Jojo Circus and like Handy Mandy and like the other Disney characters. I don't remember if that was like. Wait, the... I thought you were going to say Jojo Siwa. <laughs> no, Jojo Circus. There's like the little, the little uh... Uh, lion or whatever. See, I remember far back enough to when the uh, Disney Junior show was Bear in the Big Blue House. Yeah, don't remind me. That hurt still. That was so much superior to whatever trash is now. Yeah, but I have a special memory of that show, so I can't trash talk that show. I'm talking about the original. Oh. Yeah. uh, mm. The original was so much better. Mickey and the Roadster Racers? Are you so excited for that? Like, no. No one cares. No one cares. Oh, no. no. That's the one I meant I had a special attract, a special what attachment the fuck? to. Okay. And Vampirina or whatever? I'll tell you about it when we're done recording. Oh, no. You're going to tell me about it when we get to that because I'm interested. Um, I didn't put it on the list. <laughs> well, you suck. How about that? It'll be the next one. Okay. We're going to do all of live on stage. Uh, did you have, apparently, we're going to keep it because you like it, apparently, for some godforsaken reason, which I don't understand. I have a special Disney College program memory in it. Oh. So. Uh, uh. I want to give you a pass, but I don't want to give you a pass. Okay. I, I guess I'll tell the story on here. Good. So, and then I'll tell you the story about why I uh, hate Fantasmic. Oh, I forgot that too. Oh well. You, this is this is your <laughs> this is your coast, and you... <laughs> leave me alone. Forgot shows, okay? Um, no, but it was after we found out that we were getting sent home because of Miss Rona, and my friend and I, who were who were character performers, um, our trainer was in uh, Disney Junior Live on stage. And she told us to go see the show on our last day before we had to fly out, fly home. And we went in and we stayed until after. And the stage manager literally grabbed us and went, Jared and Noah, don't leave. 
not allowed to leave. I'm like, okay. And so our trainer in full character, along with everyone else, just wrapped us into a big group hug. Aww. And it was it was really sad and really emotional, but also really heartwarming at the same time because it was our last day there. And everyone was just like, you guys are going to do great. You're going to come back as soon as possible. And yeah, it was I have a special attachment to those characters now in that show now. That's cute. That's sweet. Um, since I forgot about them, let's not forget about them now. Um, Beauty and the Beast live on stage. Um, but before honestly, Miss... oh yeah. no, I'll let, you, I'll let you finish. Go ahead. Before Miss Rona, um, keep. During Miss Rona, Reno. Um, after Miss Rona, keep. <laughs> I kind of want like a new show in there, honestly, because there's so many other yeah. like Disney movies that I think would be fun to like see oh we could get a good show in there that's what i'm saying is like there's so many good stage shows and like movies that we could like because it feels like they only do movies from like the renaissance yes and that's like all disney's known for and there's so many good films like past that and before so if we like move away from it i feel like it'd be really really cool Mm -hmm. but then again beauty and the beast is a really really good show it's really solid and I do really like it, um, especially before uh, COVID happened. Um, I thankfully didn't see the new one because I I feel like I would have lost my mind laughing too hard. Um, but <laughs> yeah, um, I did. But no, it's it's a really good show. I I wouldn't want them to take it out if it was Oops. so loud. Sorry. So, how dare you? <laughs> um. I wouldn't want them to take it out if the possibility was there. I got to tell you, when my mom and I saw it during COVID, um, at the end, instead of Belle getting close to Beast and like hugging him, didn't they like when he's like embrace from across the stage or something? Yeah, she had to fall to the ground 10 feet away from him. And then when he transformed back into a human, um, they just did circles like two cats about to fight. <laughs> circles. Mufasa versus Scar. Just circles. Oh, that's so dumb. And I looked at my mom and I went, what did they do? What is going on here? What happened? This isn't what I remember. This is not what I want. Yeah, that's terrible. I don't. I mm, mm, Disney, di- please stop. They brought it back. It's back to normal now. That's good. It only took them like good. a year. They yeah. Um. Next up, let's get into why you hate Fantasmic. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. On the list of things, um, there's that whole bubble sequence that just bothers <laughs> the fuck out of me. <laughs> Don't talk about the bubbles. <laughs> I'm just saying. And then we got we got the cute little drag on a stick. Um, and then my favorite is when uh, Pocahontas is happening and John Smith is trying to swing across to her, but ends up hitting the stage and then falls. That's a pretty good one too, in my opinion. Um, Our evil queen changes. We have that. <laughs> that is true. But we have Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, about that boat though (laughs) yeah i don't either i just hope they change i hope they change the pocahontas that's what that's i thought that's what they were doing they're adding like a whole new like sequence with like all the heroes so like hercules and like moana and listen listen although i don't know if that's ever actually gonna happen i'm bad at keeping up to date okay (laughs) yeah they're adding like all the princesses and stuff to that one show scene I think that's what I think that's what's happening now because it's still not open. Yeah, no. I think they're changing it now. Yeah, they had the whole river drained and stuff. They're like prepping for it, but I don't know how that's gonna how long that's gonna be. I don't know. Um, any other reason you hate it? Um, no, not really. You got the cool snake, so there's that. 
I will say your your Maleficent is superior. Our Maleficent is the best thing that Disney has ever created. I'm sorry. That's such a cool animatronic. Are you saying you don't like Dragon on a Stick? Oh, no, I hate it. It looks so bad. I'm sorry. I feel like everything with Maleficent goes wrong in Disney World. Oh, yeah. You had the uh, the one from the parade that lit on fire like five times. Mm-hmm. Um, I was there for that for Festival of Fantasy, by the way, when I watched it happen literally right in front of me. I was like, oh, hey. that's fun. <laughs> like, oh, again? <laughs> Back at it. Yeah, literally. It feels like it happens like once a year at this point. Also, do you guys not have the bubble scene? I feel no, like we you don't. have the bubble. Oh. Sure. Maybe no. it was something else. No, we don't have the bubble scene. The closest thing we have to like a water sequence is like Little Mermaid into uh, Finding Nemo, I think. Or and Fantasia Ursula. or something. Ursula's stuff Ursula's, is also on water. Ursula's part of... No, it's not. No. I want we... It. We have Anyways. like the villain sequence, like the projections. Yes. Um, it goes, it goes, um, shoot, there's one character, and then it goes Ursula, and she does poor unfortunate souls for like three seconds. Um, and then it goes to Chernobog and uh, like the ghosts and stuff. And Isn't so that all on the water feature though? It's all in that projection, yeah. Okay. Oh, we were talking about something else. Sorry, I got completely derailed. You were talking about the bubble scene. I thought we were just talking about the water feature in general. Sorry, I got sidetracked. No, you're good. Um, Next up on the list is 50s Primetime Cafe. Was right that the one this. that like they used to have the old characters at? And No. Yeah. You go in and it looks like your grandma's kitchen and your waiters or waitress is supposed to be your cousin and they they make you keep manners and make you eat everything on your plate or you don't get dessert. And I want to kill myself. So it's like Roaring Fork? Yeah. Um, if you guys don't, don't know what Roaring Fork is, it is the one in the Wilderness Lodge. Um, it's Roaring essentially the same. Fork. Yeah. It's, it's essentially the same thing, um, only when you are talking to the cast members and you're like, I want ketchup with my dinner. They end up bringing every table's ketchup bag, like packet. So you literally end up with like 30 gallons of freaking ketchup on your table. Yeah, it's a weird experience. It's a lot, honestly. Um, if you If you don't like being part of like the show and stuff, I don't suggest ever going there because it's a lot. Jared, are you okay? Yeah, I leaned back. Um, um, yeah, no, I'd gut it probably at this point. Yeah. Um, and next up is Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. Don't even stop. I want it gone. I want it reverted to the way that it was. I want to bring back GMR. <laughs> Give me my great movie ride back. I miss her. I feel like I would Shoot. update the okay. I would update the show scenes for a Great Movie Ride, um, because there's a lot of movies that I never saw on that, or never cared to see. Uh, but I overall, I still think that's one of the best attractions that Disney's ever done. So it yeah. is, and the fact that it got removed and gutted, I understand it was a uh, a contract thing, but the fact that it got removed and gutted, I am still mad. Yeah, it hurts. Um, I mean, same with like the Osborne lights. The Osborne lights were amazing. There's old, old Hollywood Studios was very special to me. Old Hollywood Studios was anyone. Um, next up is where you almost died. ABC Commissary. Oh, God, the food there is so bad. It is not good. Yeah, they like. I was like, okay, so I have a nut allergy and I have a gluten allergy, and. They were like, no, yeah, you're fine. It's safe. Um, I go to eat it and it's full of pistachios um, and walnuts and all these other nuts. And I had to literally throw my food away right after I like grabbed it 
and had to run all the way to the ER uh, building with the medical office and have like three Benadryls. So I wouldn't stop breathing at Hollywood Studios. What did you order? It was just a burger, but they got the burger. I don't even, I think it was a burger. A burger with pistachios and walnuts? Yeah, they like, I don't remember exactly what it was. I think it was that. I think the bread that they had had nuts Um, in it. So like the way that that gluten-free bun was had a bunch of like other stuff in it. Um, They said, well, he gets to choose. (laughs) <laughs> nuts or gluten nuts or gluten i don't know what to tell you it's too much to do we live in florida it's too much work for us i'm not gonna deny that just because i don't like florida anyways uh next up is sci-fi dine-in i uh <laughs> i'm mixed I'm... on this i feel like i would update the menu but i love the atmosphere of it Yes, that is the correct answer. Like, I wouldn't change the restaurant. I like when you are able to, like, sit in the cars and, like, watch the mock movie screen and it feels like an actual drive-in movie and you can, like, leave the cars and, like, go to the concession stands. And it's such a cool experience. Um, I'd consider have. that a reno still. Because I, I would fully change that menu. Oh, yeah, 100%. I would, too. But I'm not touching anything else. No, I'm just I wouldn't touch the, the actual restaurant. I would just change the food there. Uh, next up is the farthest thing from pizza you can get when ordering pizza. Pizza Rizzo. God damn it. Um, that is disgusting. That is the worst restaurant on property. I will say this a thousand times. Pizza Rizzo. You are the rat piece of garbage that Disney has created. You're worse than Remy and you're worse than Ratatouille. Get the fuck out of here. We don't want you and we don't want your fucking Muppet Vision 2D bullshit. Are you okay? (laughs) I broke Jerry. I'm uncomfortable with the energy we created in the studio tonight. (laughs) I'm uncomfortable. I broke Jared. It was so funny though. <laughs> You're literally uh, so red. To uh to quote Jeremy the T, damn, 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 damn. <laughs> damn. Oh, um, it's even funnier because we were literally just on we were on FaceTime with Jeremy literally like 20 minutes before we got on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Okay, uh, okay. continue. Um, Next how time. do you feel about Pizza Rizzo, by the way? I don't you want heard... to talk about it. You like Pizza Rizzo? I want to leave it with what you said. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh my God. No, I've never been to Pizza Rizzo. That's why <laughs> okay. I wanted to leave it. Okay, okay. I've heard that it is, in it's fact, really the good. farthest thing go. from pizza. No. <laughs> I've literally been told it's the farthest thing from pizza you can get when ordering pizza. I think I'm okay. You want me to tell you like the best example of what that place reminds me of? Sure. <laughs> High class Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong. It is so bad. So instead of a regular rat, it's a sponsored rat. Oh my god. It's okay. a step up. He got sponsored. <laughs> oh my god. Please make him a rock around character. They took the Chuck E. Cheese animatronic, just took the clothes off, called it Rizzo. Oh god, I hate it. I hate it okay. so much. Uh next up is Mama Mel Roses. Oh, <sighs> okay. Um, this is a big change of place. I would um I would keep it. Yeah, I think I changed the menu a bit, but not a lot to enough to say Reno. I haven't been there. I've never gone to Mama Melrose, but everything that I've seen about it and I've heard, a, a lot of it's people good. really, a lot of people really like it. So, I also got to. I also got a. Do you remember when they were doing Year of a Million Dreams in Disney World? Was that like their Diamond Celebration thing? Yes. 
Yes, 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 yes. So I got a special million dreams thing while we were in Mama Melrose's because I was like six. And they gave me a chef hat with my name on it and they gave me a free ice cream sundae. Okay, I kind of love that. That's really cool. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, I love that Disney is able to do like these really cool special mm-hmm. like things for each guest individually um, that you're not going to find at like Universal Studios or Bush Gardens or Six Flags. It's really personalized to the guest. Um, and yeah. I think that's why so many people always go back to it is because it's so meaningful to them specifically. Mm-hmm. Honestly, the only people that I've ever met either love the Disney parks or despise the Disney parks. I've never met a single person who's uh, indifferent about it that has been there. Obviously, everyone yeah. that hasn't been there is indifferent, but I've never met somebody who's gone and is indifferent. No, same. Yeah. It's weird. Either that or you are either in love with Disney World or you're in love with Universal Studios. Where is it? There it is. Oh, yeah, your tattoo. Yeah. I'll start with the mouse. That's cool. Um, Bringing it back around to Rizzo. Muppet Vision 3D. Oh, my God. You aren't done with this. Okay. Well, since I gave my very thoughtful and loving uh thoughts on pizza rizzo we are gonna take a sharp turn over to the god bullshit that is muppet vision 2d a fucking piece three. of three i don't even give a fuck it is so bad i don't want to see fucking schmoozy poo or whatever the fucking fozzy's name is whatever the bear i don't know <laughs> you just said his name oh is that his name fozzy bear yes okay or and then that like weird like fucking french dude Mr. Lee was on that ass. Like, no. Who? The the, the you chef. Say Mr. Lee was on ass. <laughs> yeah. He's not French. He's German. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want it. I like my Vision 3D. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> the um, only show where I don't get a stinger in my ass. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. The only person that I've ever heard of that likes Muppet Vision 3D is Taylor. Um, and I, apparently now uh, Jared. So that's... I'm not saying I wouldn't run a wit. Because I think it needs a good old update. But I like it for what it is. Which is what? What is that show supposed to be? <laughs> what is the story there? I don't want to talk about it. And those two like old geezers that are like sitting in that corner. No, it's you. It's you next to you. <laughs> it's hey, you next to you. Me and Alex when we were fifty. Yes. Kind of want that now. Anyways, um, Star Tours. I say get rid of it. Um, we have a whole Star Wars land now. I do not need Star Wars. Well, here's the thing, okay? <laughs> You're going to show me. Um, I like Star Tours more than Rise and Smuggler's Run combined. Um, do you have COVID? No, I just hate them. I think they're so lame. I'm do sorry. Do you have COVID? Do I have COVID? Yes, because you do not have a sense of taste right now. Dude, they keep adding new show scenes to Star Wars. Literally. That's my you can favorite joke fuck right out. Now. You can fuck out. That is my favorite joke right and now. And the new, the new one that they did was for Book of Boba Fett. And you're literally like flying um, around trying to avoid being blown up by Boba Fett. And you end up inside the Death Star with Darth Vader chasing you down with his TIE Fighter through the Death Star. And it's sick. Like they're adding a lot of new stuff to it. Um, but I like hate rise. seven, eight, and nine, so I don't like rise much. 